Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to talk about fighting Emma Frost. She is the boss in the uncollected mode X-Men Class Omega that's going on right now. Now, first up, we're going to try Thor. Uh, the reason that Thor came to my mind as an option is because he has an armor break on his parry. And she has this diamond form where she is impervious to everything, so I figured I should be able to parry her, get that armor break on her, knock her out of the diamond form, and then just go to work. But it didn't work out quite the way that I had hoped. Apparently, even in her diamond form, uh, she is impervious also to his uh, armor break on his parry. Now, Corvus, on the other hand, he can parry her in her diamond form and apply the armor break. He is my top choice for fighting her. If you have a high level Corvus, that's who you want to bring. But Thor, sadly, he was a disappointment. Alright, so you're going to see here my Corvus. He's only 550. And I'm still not extremely comfortable fighting Miss Frost here. Yeah, I call her Miss Frost because she beat my butt so many times, she deserves the respect. But in any case, as you'll see, he's able to parry her, knock her out of diamond form, apply the armor break, and do some damage. Uh, this Corvus isn't that high level, so his damage isn't that great. But if you have a high level, like a rank 5, 565 uh, Corvus, put on some suicides you can even boost up and you will tear her up so Corvus is definitely a good option if you have a Corvus at sufficient level mine is only rank one still so I couldn't bring him in for this so I had to use my four star uh, the other option is Medusa and you'll see my best attempt at Emma Frost here with that Medusa coming up shortly. So a little bit about this fight. So Emma Frost has this diamond form where as I said before she is impervious to everything. You see it there. Medusa is great because she can apply an armor break on her medium which knocks her right out of that diamond form and she can armor shatter which will prevent her from going into diamond form and that is huge all right now again my medusa is only 550 if i had had a higher level medusa i would have been able to one shot miss frost here pretty easily the other thing that makes her very difficult is that inverted controls on her l1 that wrecked me more than anything. So what does these inverted controls mean? It means that instead of swiping forward to dash, you're gonna have to swipe back. And instead of swiping back to evade, you're gonna have to swipe forward. Now, her L1 is a two-parter. So you need to swipe forward twice and then swipe back in order to dash at her to get your counterattack. Okay, so I'm going to mention it real here. Forward, forward, back. Okay, and you notice how fast I said back. It's because you have to do it that quickly. All right, let's just try it again. Forward, forward, back. As soon as you see that dexterity pop up, you have to already hit that back or else you're not going to be there in time. It's a very tight timing. Uh, she also has very high damage, so you don't want to take a lot of block hits from her. But, with Medusa, as long as she's armor shattered, I can parry her without taking a lot of damage. So, it is very useful to have an armor break champion in here. Alright, now this wasn't a one shot as you saw, and we'll bring in Stark Spidey to clean it up. So, what do I think about this fight? 
Uh, I'm not really a fan of inverted controls, to be honest with you. It's like I train you to do one thing, and then I punish you when you do that same thing for a short period of time, because you're going to have to go back doing that same thing that I'm punishing you for now, later. Now, some people find that challenging and fun. I'm not one of them. I, I find that very annoying. All right, uh, having to do that in this fight just made it something that I wanted to just get through. I did not find it fun at all. All right, but at the time of this video, I have already 100%ed that chapter. I went and made sure I did that first so that I could get done with it. I didn't use any items after the second attempt. I had finally got it to where I was able to get her down in about two, maybe three um, champions. All right, so that's going to do it. Hopefully this helps you take down Emma Frost, and you guys have a blessed day.